<coughs> oh. Who are you? Jedi from the Enclave by the Council to investigate a killing. Okay. There's an opportunity for you to demonstrate how well you've been listening. Though you're not a full Jedi yet, you could assist me in sorting out the truth and lies. What do you may do? Listen to the stories given by the suspects. I have brought information retrieval droid. I will use my wisdom. There will be a little benefit if you solve the problem yourself. Consider each man's account and check the facts with the information droid. Once you have gathered all the evidence you think you need, run in through the possible scenario with me. You, if you are unable to come to satisfy resolution, then I will... okay. These three men were out here. I find it very odd that most people would seek shelter indoors when the sky is filled with dark storm clouds. Calder Nedek was shot in the back. Hand in in Excuse the other. Is there anything else I should know? Actually, hold on. <coughs> All right, we got this dude. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that tool that can investigate, no doubt. This is stuff. I'm Rickard Lusso. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened. Well, I was out hunting Iriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handed standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over? Wait. And send that whiner Handed to the prison he belongs to. You said the sun was in your eyes. Apparently shot from behind with the blaster. Ah, pretty. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handed Jewel. Perhaps you've heard of me? Mm, should I have? Um, I guess under the circumstances now. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. Go on. I saw Richard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river. I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the end plate right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Richard so I can get on with my day. Okay. Greetings, apprentice. You must be the one Master Baruch has enlisted to help you with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi and Clay and the central government facilities here in Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cold and Metic, Rickard Lusoff, and Hand and Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Nettie. Is there any information you require? Yes. Um, what did you find out about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is Yeesh. there any other information you need? Okay. Um. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be <laughs> to violence. Cap hounds, on the other hand, 
are much more deadly. Yes. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cat hounds in the last two weeks. Okay. A national advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the planes. Small farms and holdings dot the planes and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Ask more questions later. I will be here to assist you. So, what do you want? <coughs> well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. I want to ask you something else. So, what do you want to know? Why are you out here? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some eerie ass. Haven't seen many in the area recently, but with those cat hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one. Like I said before, I shot, pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's hand standing over the body and the eerie ass was gone. Now I don't have nothing to do with it, so can I go now? Hmm. Not just yet. So. Right. Nothing more for now. How can I be of further assistance? You're holding your side. Are you injured? It, injured? No. Of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned it. Hmm. Ask you something else. How can I be of further assistance? Why are you out? No. Nothing for now. Of course. Is there any other info? Oh, questions okay. later. I want to discuss the murder. Said he was nearby and heard a shot. <clears throat> He didn't mention the weapon found by the body. Um, actually, we considered Rickard. It was cloudy, there was no sun glare. Did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to like this slime ball. Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit to ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. I want to ask something else. <coughs> Why would she, why would someone want to kill him? You Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything. When the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Bullock guy. That's all. How can I be a further assistance? Mm, did you know him? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. The truth, I didn't really want to. He had a reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. No one says you killed him. I'm sorry. I'm Yet. getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? I want to ask you something else. How can I be of further assistance? Why would someone want to uh, kill him? Well, you see, 
Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing would make me want to kill him. No one said you killed him. Yet. I'm sorry. I'm, <coughs> I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? That's all for now. Is there any other information you need? What can you tell me about Calder and Handon? Southwood Speeder Rental Business has records that over the past seven weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Cole. Is mm -hmm. there any other information you need? What about this one? According to the municipal authorities near the Garrow Spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Kuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? Hmm. I have more questions later. Very well. I will be here to assist you. How can I be a further assistance? You know, you went to speeder with them. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder True. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Why would you punch his face in? My wife was cheating on me. I slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. How can I be a further assistance? Nothing more for now. Of course, of course. So, what do you want to know? You thought Calder was cheating you. Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. Mm hmm. Can't deny it, though. But was there bad blood between you? Right. I want to discuss the matter. Business partners. Handon was lying. He knew his wife was cheating on him. Okay. To the droid. Is there any other information you need? Yes. Tell me what about the weapon. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact he did not belong to Calder. Is there okay. any other information you need? Hmm. I'll ask more questions later. How can I be a further assistance? What do you know about the weapon found by the body? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cat hounds around. Even an area can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has <clears> a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be a further assistance? Hmm. Nothing more for now. Dun dun dun. So, what do you want to know? What do you know about the weapon found by the body? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for a Chani weaponry. He had his one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one you had. Ichanis make delicate weapons with too little firepower. 
Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. Oh, right. for now. I want to discuss the matter. The blaster is Handon's, but he reported that it was stolen. I wish to continue. Is there any other? Zero reported him reporting his blaster stolen. <clears throat> but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I uh -huh. have a record of the missing weapon report. It's still called files with authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? No. That'll do. How can I be further Mr. Gold? I could block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. No, no. I think you don't have to find that incriminating. Normally, I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder, Mr. Medic, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife, right under my nose, no less. Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. But, much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. I'm going to ask you something else. Okay, for... it... Injured? No, of course not. Hmm. Of course. Custom murder. Blaster's hand and he lied about being stolen. Oh, Mr. Droid. Blood sample. Chop chop. I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It has been sent back to the Emperor just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not Calder's. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? One more questions later. You twisted your ankle. So, what do you want to know? Mm, nothing more. How can I be of further assistance? Injured? Hmm. I'll discuss the murder. It didn't belong to the victim. Um, record. Oh, wait, no. And then he's clutching his side. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Dun dun dun. Uh -huh. I agree. I can leave now, then. What? No. Yes, Mr. Gold. Is there something wrong? Do you feel justice has been done here? 
Do you not feel he should be taken? No. If I'm going, I'm not going alone. You don't know what you've done. What do you mean? I came out here, I admit, to kill Calder, but so did Rickard. He must have thought it was Calder when he shot and hit me. So I'm going to prison, but I shouldn't be going alone. Did you idiots have to let the slime ball go? Hmm. Uh. You tentacle headed moron. I came out here and killed Calder, but Rickard was here to do that too, and he shot me by mistake. Huh. 